feel that everything happens for a reason. So when I was traveling with my friend Julie, she wanted to stop by her friend's house one night just to say hi. Oh, wow, two for one! Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hi. So Kyle's friend was there too, and I was instantly attracted to him the first time I saw him. Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time. When we started talking, we surprisingly got along really well. So uh, why'd you move down to LA? School and work. Kind oh, cool. of thing, yeah. I'm over at USC, I do film. Wait, I go to USC as well, for film. Really? Yeah, for film! We had frequently like the same similarities. Like we played the same sport, we listened to the same music. We were even the same program in school. I ended up wanting to stay longer than expected. Hey! Hey! Can I go? Um, can we stay for like five more minutes? Oh! Yeah, he's, he's interesting, I don't know. Yeah, no, go for it! Okay, yes! As the night went on, I was crushing on him even more. I had a really great time there, I think. She was so into Kyle. <laughs> I broke it. There was a point when I was looking at him and I was thinking to myself that I just really liked him. Yeah, I just did that like a year ago. Really? Right after college, I'm like, okay, mom, I got my grades. I'm traveling for six months. What's your favorite thing about traveling? I don't know, meeting new people and cultures. Like when I was traveling, I just met up with a, like a bunch of other backpackers as well. I guess the downfall with traveling is just remembering to contact family. You know, back at home, mom just wants to know what's up. Yeah. And it just takes a second to just call. I, I forget that sometimes. At least you're thinking about it. That's good. And I'm sure they're thinking about you and I'm sure they completely understand. Yeah. I mean, you're traveling the world. So, where's the next place you're going to? The next big adventure. Then reality struck. Where I'm going to? I'm going to Toronto. Toronto? Yeah. It's awesome. When? Yeah. I'm actually moving there. Round and around and around and around we go. I told him that I was leaving. It's cool. Yeah. It's awesome. It's good for you. Good job. I mean, congratulations. I'm happy now. You know. Timing. Perfect. Not really sure how to feel about it. Something in the way you move. Nice meeting you. Makes me feel like a And that's when I realized that it's never gonna work out. It's really interesting how people just randomly appear and enter our lives. And it's based on the choices that we make that we let them stay or not. You know, I always think of what ifs, you know, whatever in the same city, or if it was years later, the things that worked out. I also wonder, was it the right person at the wrong time? But then again, I also think that if it was the right person, it would be the right time. And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky I guess we'll just never know. Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs. We're setting fire to our insides for fun. Collecting names of the lovers that we're born. The lovers that we're